Hi and welcome back to my devlog series. Today is Tuesday and the reason we're skipping Monday is because I was very busy with university and other things yesterday so I didn't really have time to record anything. Also I probably sound a bit weird because I'm a bit sick and my nose is totally stuffed but I'll do my best to sound as normal as I can. I do have classes today as well but I just finished up so I'm now heading home. I have a lot of things on my to-do list so I'm just gonna try and get rid of as many as possible because I've just put them on hold for way too long and I should probably just check off most of them because I don't even know what half of them are. I've cleaned up my to-do list, I've fixed a lot of bugs and I've now started working a bit on the lightning enchantment. Previously only players could use it but enemies can now also use lightning enchantment and the lightning effect will strike the players as well. Something else I've done is remove the collision with enemies once you've killed them. The reason that I did this was because when me and my friend playtested the game, things got really weird because of all the dead bodies and the enemies didn't know how to maneuver around it and, and things just got really strange. So I've just put them into the background so you can't actually mess with them now. The negative side to this is you can't throw around the dead enemy bodies, which is a lot of fun, but you can still do it to your friend's bodies. So I mean, it's not that big of a deal and I think it will just make things much easier. But now I'm gonna go hit the gym and then when I get back home I'll go hit the sack. It is Wednesday my dudes. I just finished up my final math assignment for this semester and the only thing I have left now is the math exam which is in the middle of May. But with that being done let's get working on off the sticks. So I received this really cool concept art from Kohex17 and I think it's a really fun idea so let's try it out. So I've implemented the basic idea without any art so you're basically holding a white stick with lightning effects on it but you can use it to fly and it's a lot of fun to use this. You can achieve some pretty crazy speeds with it though so I'm just gonna make it so it's a bit more limited and I'm also gonna have to make some art for it. Uh, essentially how it works is it's a sword but it attacks every single frame and then it kind of pushes you forward which is why you're flying. But now it's time to work on something completely different. So I want to start putting together the first map so you can actually play it. Uh, but before we do that we need to make a lobby so you can enter the lobby and then that takes you to the actual map. I've worked a bit more on the input manager and also the lobby system, so it's time to put it to the test. So I need to build the game and then put it on my laptop, because I don't have Bluetooth on my main station, so in order to connect two controllers I'm gonna need my laptop. And for the first time in game development history, it actually works on the first try, which is absolutely amazing. So anyone can now join the lobby by moving their controller or their keyboard, and you will get the player ID of which position you joined in. So for example, if the keyboard is first, he's gonna get player one, or if the controller is first, he's gonna get player one. Now all we need to do is make it so you can go from the lobby to the actual game, but it's getting pretty late now, so I'm gonna go hit the sack and continue tomorrow. It's Thursday morning, I'm gonna keep working on the lobby and input system and then hopefully finish up the broom and actually draw it so it's not just a white stick. But first off, I'm gonna work on the input system. My input manager now works way better and I'm just more happy with the code and it's just way more generic. It's much easier to do things for me now which is great. So I'm gonna take a break from coding now and just draw the broom and implement it into the game. I've quickly put a broom together in Photoshop inspired by Kohex and Google and now let's put it into Unity. I've adjusted a few things just to make it a bit smoother so you can actually fly it properly and I think it's pretty good at this point. Uh, might be a bit overpowered but it's gonna be pretty rare so I might just keep it really strong. 
it's a lot of fun to use as well and I can implement some witch enemies maybe. I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, I'll probably do that at some point. If I were to give the broom to an enemy now, I, I don't think much interesting would happen. He would probably just stand on the ground and kind of stab you with the broom, so a bit boring. But if I make a dedicated witch enemy, I can make it so they can actually use the broom properly, which I think would be a lot of fun. But that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go hit the gym and then hit the sack. It's finally Friday and I want to keep working on the lobby system. We need to make it so you can go from the lobby to the actual game and then you keep uh, the color of the player that you had in the lobby in the actual game. And this is what it looks like for now. So you can join the lobby and then when you start the game you actually get into the map uh, with the player that you chose in the lobby. Obviously we need to make it a bit more interesting since currently you just kind of pop out of thin air and appear in the world and it looks a bit weird. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to have the players run into the screen from the left side and then uh, when they're in the middle of the screen the camera will focus on them and you can start actually playing the map. I've done the implementation and the players should now come running in from the left side of the map, which they are not doing because they're running into an invisible wall. That's fine. Okay, so I quickly fixed the bug and everything should be working now, the invisible wall should be gone, and there we go, everything works fine. Okay, this time for sure, all the invisible walls are gone, I'm 100% sure, so let's give it a shot and see how it is. So, camera zooms in, our players are coming in, and there we go, you can now play the game. Everything is working fine, I'm happy with this, you're happy with this, if you're not happy with this, then... F*** you. Okay, so that's really all I had time for this week. Uh, this weekend I am going to be joining Ludum Dare, uh, which is basically where you create a game in 48 hours. So you will definitely see a video on that unless I fail miserably. Uh, and then you will probably never even hear about the fact that I joined Ludum Dare. So hopefully everything goes fine. If not, then we'll just forget the whole thing happened. So I'll just be spending the rest of the day editing together this video. Massive shout out to my supporters on Patreon, especially NMU Gamer and Soap Turtle. You're all amazing, thank you so very much for the support. I still have loads of fan art to show off because my Discord is absolutely filled with fan art, so if you want to submit your fan art, you can do so on my Discord, on Twitter, on Facebook. There are links in the description down below, so you can go ahead and check out and submit your fan art wherever you prefer. But with that being said, a uh, massive shout out to everyone who's done fan art. It's absolutely awesome to see and I really appreciate it. Also, we hit 40,000 subscribers, which is ridiculous. So thank you all very much. Uh, and um, I think that's all I had to say. So I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I will catch you all in the next one. <laughs>